I'm Steve Mann and this is Paper Classroom. Welcome to another one of our fibres uh, tutorials. In this particular tutorial we're going to talk about the physical differences in different types of uh, fibre species or plant species. This schematic here is typical of all uh, natural fibres, all, all vegetable fibres. So all the fibres have got four walls, an outer primary wall and then an inner secondary S1, S2, S3 and a lumen. What's different is the orientation of the fibrils in each wall and the numbers of layers in each wall. But we'll, we'll talk about those things later on. That's what fibres really have in common and now we'll start to have a look at some of the differences. These are softwood fibres and as I've mentioned in other videos, softwood fibres tend to be wide and long. Wide being about 40 microns, long up to about 4 millimetres. And the one special characteristic for all softwoods are these so-called window cells or pit cells on the surface. Here we can see those cells in a bit more detail. You can see them there and here. And this is a particularly interesting micrograph. On this fibre you can see that there are two rows of these so-called window cells. But also from this picture you can tell a lot. If you look here this fibre is as wide as these so clearly it's another softwood. So there's a softwood fibre, here's a softwood fibre, here's a softwood fibre. On this one you can clearly see the window cells. If you look there you see a little parallel narrow line and you see it here and you see it very very clearly here. Now what this is all about is fibres are like a tube and when you collapse the tube because of the thickness of the wall it never quite collapses at the very edge. So that's what you're seeing there. You're seeing that this is a collapsed tube but the edge is a bit thicker there so it hasn't quite collapsed. And if you look here, now had it been a proper tube you couldn't fold it over. But if you flatten it out and then you fold it like that, it can do. So this tells you that some work has been done on the fibres. It's been refined. It's been refined enough so that the fibre tube has collapsed into a ribbon and therefore it's able to fold over. But this one here has not collapsed. That's not been folded into a ribbon. And that one's been flattened there. So it tell, and you can't see many fibrils. So that micrograph tells you that some work has been done on the fibre, but not a lot. Moving on, now this is a hardwood. Now hardwood fibres are typically about half the dimensions of a softwood fibre. So typically up to two millimetres uh, long and round about uh, 20, 22 microns wide rather than 40. The one thing that stands out for all hardwoods compared to softwoods is the presence of these things here that we call vessel cells or vessel elements. Now these things don't have any hydroxyl groups so they have no bonding power. They just end up in the paper matrix. Everybody likes to use hardwood fibres because they're short, uh, particularly eucalyptus. And the reason why they want to use hardwood fibres is to improve the formation of the sheet. But there is a negative side to this. Because some of these hardwood fibres, here's a eucalyptus one. So there you see the eucalyptus fibres and here's a eucalyptus cell. Now, so the problem with these is because they have no 
binding power at all. They're almost like a piece of dust. So if you put lots of eucalyptus into your furnish to give a sheet with a wonderful formation, it will also contain, possibly, lots of these vessel cells or vessel elements. And they will fall out of the sheet when it gets to the printer and create lots of dust for them. It's not the only problem that vessel cells cause. If you look here, this is a, a printed surface. This is the surface of a, a, white, a bleached white sheet that's been printed with red ink. And as you can see, there's a printing flaw here. There's a blank area. And the reason for that flaw is very near the surface of that sheet was one of these vessel cells. And when the rolled ink went over it, at the point here, it picked up the vessel cell, the vessel cell transferred onto the ink roller. Uh, ink couldn't get at that space there. And so we're left with a, a printing imperfection. So that's one of the negative sides to uh, short fibres. There's our cell again. Now, every species of fibre has its own, or, or does it not softwood, has its own characteristic vessel cells or vessel elements. And it's easier usually to tell what fibre you've got from the vessel element that's there than it is from um, the fibre itself. So this here is wheat straw. And these particular sorts of vessel elements, vessel cells, are called parenchyma cells. And if you look at it, it's a little like a corrugated pipe. That there is wheat straw. Take close note of that. And I'll just move along to the next slide and show you some rice straw. So this is rice straw. And there it is again. And it's a slightly different topography, slightly different structure to it. So by looking at those, you can tell the difference between rice straw and wheat straw, whereas you couldn't tell that necessarily from just looking at the fibre itself. We've talked a lot about flax. We've talked about flax since we started in the very first history module. And you can often tell flax fibres because they have these little nodules on them. So if you look under a microscope, at these long flax fi long fibres, if you see these little nodules, that's the thing that's indicative of flax. And if you look closely here, you can see the lumen that runs down through the middle of that particular flax fibre. They also have these little cross markings on them. So there are two things that will help you identify flax fibres. And sometimes in the level two exam, we do give you pictures like this, uh, pictures of fibres, pictures of vessel elements, and ask you to identify the fibre. This is the last one I'm going to talk about, uh, and this is abaca. Abaca, very long, straight fibre, and this is their vessel cell. Looks a little like a, a torpedo. So, Thank you for watching our uh, video on uh, physical differences between fibres. I hope you found it interesting. Please leave us any feedback or ask any questions. I hope you enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in some of our other videos.